my fellow brother. He is from all the way from England. He is Jericho, the air show, Scarbridge. Anymore. He's not going to be surprised by your guys' like, tactics, you know? Well, I hope he's ready. I hope he's good to go because, ladies and gentlemen, today he is taking on a man who shows class wherever he goes, who has won more awards and so many awards and championships who could fill up this entire room with him. From the Great Ivory Tower, weighing at 190 pounds, standing at a height of 6 foot, he is the Duke of the DCWF, Sparkles, Gwen Kimmel. with that chair with the crucial flag on it. What, you, 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 you would like to see her out of here again? Well, maybe she can teach Jericho some manner. Who knows? Thank you. Typical football chants. Not like he bloody arrogant maggots know how to say anything else. And of course, Sparkles. Hey, Jericho, today's how you doing? How's the sports team? Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, terrible, terrible shame about what happened. Has been accompanied by the SLCW men's champion, Mr. Magnuson. Probably out here to show Jeff the belt once again. You know, Raf, I'd ask you know, Raf, I'd ask you to hold the rose, but I know you do a terrible job at it anyways. Oh, and Sparky Sparky is starting off rather uh rather kindly there with the ref, already insulting the ref before the match is even started. Well, 
hey, we know how everything is going to go when it comes to rest and Duffer Clan, so he's just getting out of the way early. So he can focus on Jerko. So the ref is asking the guys to keep it clean. Um, obviously she knows what kind of dirty tactics, tactics often happen here. No, no dirty tactics. She says Sparky Bows. He's a person of class. Class and honesty and and integrity don't always go together, you know? Like, you can act like you have class, but it doesn't mean that you have those other things, other qualities. Well, it's better than that thing common, like some people around here. Greco romance headlock, ladies and gentlemen. Already taken Jericho down to the mat in a headlock. But that's okay, that's okay. Jericho's already fighting back and trying to work his way up to his feet. Well, Jericho's got that fire in his stomach right now, but, like, like, you know, he's, he's gonna be a rough one to keep down. And it looks like Sparkles is twisting Jericho's fingers, trying to inflict just an extra bit of pain on him. But Jericho's going to do a backflip escape and wrench. Sparkles back over, you know, as he like flips him over in a wrist lock and drops him on the ground. And right back into another wrist, wrist lock and holding him into a, pulling him into a hammer lock. Jericho looks like he's kind of got this under control, but nope, Sparkles is going to reverse it on him and twist Jericho's arm back into a wrist lock on it, of his own and take him into an armbar takedown. These guys are already working really fast. They know each other really well. They've been, they face each other so many times now over the years that um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's hard for them to know, um, or it's hard for them to like keep each other guessing when it comes to what's going to happen next because they know each other so well, you know? Yep. I know what you're saying, but I, that's on board as well. Well, no, Spark has been using it more and more recently during the time of. Uh, Jericho's injury. Well, it's just not about the field, but it's using it in a different way. It's much stronger, much more efficient. See, and that's the thing, Sparky just. Yeah, I, every time I see him in the ring, it seems like he's improving in some way. I'm impressed with Spock. Ooh, and Jericho with a gigantic drop kick to the face and he started crashing from that. Jericho's looks like Jericho's ready to take over for a bit here and show Sparky like all the frustration and like pent up like anger he has about having to be out of the ring for two months. Oh, how angry do you think he is? How angry do you think he'll be when he goes out again? And Jericho running in and delivering a big turbulence to Sparky. And then a giant leg lariat. See, he's he's punishing Sparky now. Like he's he's teaching Sparky that you don't you don't mess with Jericho at the air show star. <laughs> and here he goes for a pin. And the ref drops down and it's one. Two, but but only two, unfortunately, even though Jericho delivered a lot of pain in those last few seconds. Though. It just, I guess Sparkles is just a little bit tougher than he looks, you know, especially with a name like Sparkles. He, he's been mortal heavyweight champion, he's been men's champion, he's uh, won so many other titles and awards. I think Sparky just slipped there and accidentally hit Jericho in the way he didn't mean to. Woo! Shut up, Sparky! Woo! 
Ooh, that's asking Jericho, Jericho if he taps. He should tap, make it easy on himself right now. No way, no way. He's gonna fight through this. He's already fighting through this. You know, you know, when he was training with Voodoo, the Bear Cooper show, Voodoo locked him up in lots of different holes and, and showed him the face like some real, real pain. So, you know, he knows how to he knows how to fight through this pain and keep going and not give up too fast. And quick con for the rope right baby. Well, he's going to get back to the ring trained by anyone, why not be trained by the DCW World Heavyweight Champion? The referee's starting her count, waiting for Sparkles to break to break the hold. However, you know, he does have to count four, so he's going to probably milk it for all it's got. I got till five, I can break on four. Yeah, yeah, he knows, he knows the rules. Sparky, just the referee, just the one of the greatest referees. But they may go down as the greatest referee of all time. Oh, and it's still got today's class, that's not saying a lot. And it looks like Sparkles is wrapping his leg right back into a figure four and locking it in. He's, he sure is focusing on uh, Jericho's legs here. Probably trying to keep him from jumping up in the air again like he did, you know, a few moments ago, delivering all those uh, kicks and stuff to his face. Well, it's because Sparky was intelligent. He's always thinking when he's on the run. How did you keep the air so grounded? Take out the legs. And like Sparkles says, safe and sound on the ground. And you know, like, he. Sparky's not really one to go to the top of the ball that often. He claims it's a very dangerous and precarious place to be, and it's best to stay on the ground anyway. And that is where Sparkles does some of his greatest work, isn't it, really? Like, that's, that's kind of his, his domain of keeping people locked up and on the ground and delivering pain on the ground and not from flying in the air. Well, if the ref decided to count up to six, I guess that would be a ten count, but yes. And the referee getting some from Sparky as well. I was watching Sparky. Ah, uh, good help is so hard to come by. So hard to come by. Here, let me help you up, Jericho. Oh, look at that. He's been nice. He's helping Jericho back to his Yeah, but then he goes to kick him. And Jericho catches that kick, and then delivers the kick of his own! Oh! That's why he gets to be nice, although he's still the moon. The ring is not the place to be nice, but he keeps trying to be nice. Jericho with a big line spell to hold him first down for only two. Only two, unfortunately, even though even though the crowd is cheering for him, and they're, you know, they're trying to pump him up through all their cheer cheers, um, it, it seems like their, their cheers are just making Sparky angry and have to keep fighting. Very rarely so, it's like I said, I told him, the ring is not the place to be nice. So what happens if you try it, you end up in a Boston <laughs> crowd? Looks like Jericho is wrenching that fossil crab in pretty hard. And Sparky is attempting to drag him towards the ropes. And he's reaching for those ropes. And he gets a hold of the ropes, not in a conventional way, but he's got a hold of them. And Come on, ref, let's just for sex the break. now. Oh, she's six count now. Get Jericho over there. The ref telling, telling Jericho it's time to break. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twelve, fourteen. 
So let's start in the count. One, two, three. Warning Jericho to break it up. Jericho, break it up. Yeah, the moment I tell me how that hell done, it should have been disqualified by now. It should have been done. That should be over. Well, you know, Jericho was just doing what Sparky did, you know, like, he knows the rules just as good as Sparky. He's been around just as long, like, you know, just about as long, and, um, he, he's just keeping it fair, really. Like, he's doing what he's allowed to do. Some of that jail is still in there. Fine! You all want to see high risk, huh? You all like that flippy, silly nonsense, huh? Well, here's your high flying. Come on! Ah! Nope! Like nope! Not happening. You don't deserve to see the Duke <laughs> fly, you maggots. And Sparky doing what he does best, right? Taunting the crowd. Because that is what he does best. Running his mouth and taunting the crowd. I was right, my says, I don't deserve to see someone like Sparky doing fun or good fun for that. They do not deserve I, that. You know, I don't know, like, I've been at the DCW for quite a while, and I can't remember the last time he flew through the air, so I'm just not sure if he can do it, to be honest. Oh, he can do it. He's very capable. And it looks like the two of them start duking out in the middle of the ring. He's been doing this a long time. He can do everything in that one. He just chooses to get rid of it. Oh, and a couple... A couple big super kicks, both of them hitting each other and taking each other down. And it looks like they can both connected pretty darn hard there. And it also looks like Sparky's taking the moment of like Jericho being dazed to like slide out of the ring. And um I don't know how I feel about that. Referee calling Sparky to get back in the ring. Well, uh, Jericho is slowly working his way up to his feet after getting his bell rung pretty hard there. Both these guys are starting to look a little worse for wear, and it looks like they're both starting to get a little bit tired, because they've been going at it pretty quick and hard, um, since the match started, since the bell rang. And the referee starting her count, because... Sparky's on the outside of the ring, telling him to get back in. But it looks like instead of Sparky getting back in, Jericho is gonna go on out. And hit takes Sparky down with a great big tiddly D. Papa <laughs> Big Fun Hero. Shot. Hit Jericho with a chair. No, that was a magnificent chair shot, you silly commentator. A hell of a magnificent shot. Yeah, get it right, magnificent shot. I mean, I didn't see anything. Everything was fair in the board board. I've no idea what any of you ever thought of that. Look at the old man just leaning there. Let me help him up for a second. Nah. 
and let's go. <laughs> He's got me. Let's get him back into the ring. Ref, this isn't over until we say it's... Wait. Oh, 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 Oh man, we just got lucky last week. Shouldn't he be backstage doing steroids or something? Well, maybe if when the match ended, you guys actually ended the match and left what they're supposed to. Voodoo wouldn't have to come down here. The DCWF World Heavyweight Champion wouldn't have to come down here and, you know, teach them a lesson, or I guess they're, since they're running away from them, at least attempt to teach them a lesson about, you know, ending the match fairly when the match is actually over. That's no Hey, he's the world privilege champion, I have respect for him, but like I said, that's his name, he has business, he shouldn't get out here. High five! Thanks for doing it here. So, our winner by DQ, and a win's a win, no matter how you look at it tonight, apparently, is Jericho, the air show star match. Well, good for Jericho. And I'm going to get a decent fan. Oh, written in the stars, a million miles away.